this is one that is going to, you know, cause cause a little cause a little ruffle, cause a little hot take. We have OpenSea introducing optional creator royalties. And I'm going to run for the hills while Gift Dead gives his take. Uh, essentially, all, every single marketplace in NFTs at this point has gotten into the optional royalties game. It's been a race to the bottom, as we kind of predicted in the beginning uh, with these marketplaces. One does it, then another, then another. And now we're finally at a situation where OpenSea is now moving to optional creator royalties. They say they're going to get into uh, you know more features that the community wants here in the future. But essentially, on a Saturday when no one is on Twitter, they are coming to us saying that we're going to actually add optional royalties now. So what do you think, GIF? What do we got? I mean, well, right there on what you're just showing, it looks like they're working on some kind of enforceable tech like solution option. I mean, honestly, man, the best I can, it seems like the best we can hope for is that we can uh, innovate and, and create solutions to the problem because we we have to find a way to protect artists and that artists get paid otherwise literally like what the fuck are we doing here if, if, if you don't have awesome artists awesome creators like you've literally just got a bunch of shit coins like that that's all this space is going to be then like if, if if this isn't a place that artists want to come and build and create really cool awesome shit then like why are why are we here and um so i don't know man honestly this this whole thing is is a little bit exhausting and it's the type of shit that actually like like there's so much fun and like nonsense in the space all day every day but it, it's this this is the thing that makes me want to like say fuck it and like pack up my bags and leave because if 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 we're if we're basically just saying like yeah capitalism over everything traders win fuck the artists they they don't really matter um yeah dude like like i can just go into web 2 and fucking do the same shit i don't have to be going through all this i i don't have to be caring this much about any of this shit like i care because i want to create new paradigms and empower artists and empower communities and like create new ways of, of of distributing wealth and creating generational wealth and value capturing more value from the creative perspective for the communities to be building like that's why i'm fucking here man and if OpenSea, the biggest fucking marketplace, is just like, well, it's it's the traders for us, like, mm -hmm. fuck fuck them, like straight up, yeah. like my my honest response is is fuck you, OpenSea, fuck uh, Magic Eden, fuck, uh, I mean even Blur, like you know Blur's trying to do like, well, you know it's optional too. But fuck all y'all for basically betraying the creators and the artists who've been building the space, who came here to to build a life or something different for themselves, try and create value, build a community, because you're basically kneecapping all of them and, and saying that they matter less than the traders and that capitalism rules everything. And that doesn't feel new. That doesn't feel Web3. That feels Web2. Yeah. So, so fuck all y'all marketplaces right now. Y'all are all fucking pussies. Like you want my hot it's, take? Like real, like real talk. Like y'all, y'all have, y'all have zero fucking ethics or morals. Yeah. They, they, it feels better. You have zero ethics and morals. All you fucking care about is money. At the end of the day, it's, it's the competition and the transactions and, and you're not willing to take a stand because you know, business over artists. So I don't well, know. Again, they, that, they that's have my taken hot, their that's stand. It's take. just not. Yeah, they, they they took their stand on a, on the other side. But yes, yeah, I agree with that. Yeah. Uh, the 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 one thing I will say is it does feel like we're moving very very quickly into an environment where there's going to be on chain execution of these fees of these royalties, right? Yeah. Like it, it it does like we we started talking about this three months ago. You know, maybe even less like NFT Web3 time is incredibly different. So I don't know when the first conversation around Magic Eden doing this on-chain royalties was or off-chain royalties and optional royalties, all these things. But it feels like we've moved very quickly to the point where even OpenSea is like, we're going to do these executions of on-chain royalties for new collections. So that was some context as well. Uh, I can pull it up here. 
Uh, today, we're launching a tool for on-chain enforcement of creator fees for new collections. That's a very, very important quote yeah. unquote that is a there's a shit ton a of collections new collection so all so everybody that's been building the space is yeah basically fucked until they figure that out so again i like i, I want to give credit where credit's due open did not just like rush out there with the hype around like zero percent royalties and fucking be like we're going zero percent like they didn't do that they obviously, this has been a big conversation point. It does affect their bottom line, their business. So I, I, I want to try and be as understanding as I can. They mm -hmm. are working on some kind of solution, it appears. Um, it just, at the end of the day, man, you, I, I feel like you can take it. You can take a, a stand either way, and they're they're obviously saying that they are capitulating. Like you want to talk about capitulation? This is capitulation. OpenSea mm -hmm. is capitulation, capitulating to market forces and capitalism over having any sort of their own value system, new value system, supporting artists first. To me, this space should be artists first. You should be empowering creators first. Those are the people that created all the fucking value. It's, it's not like, believe it or not, you wouldn't have fucking traders if you didn't have amazing fucking projects. Mm. You, you might have some shit coins, have some pump and dumps. And like there might be some kind of volume, but if, if you didn't have amazing artists launching projects into your ecosystem, you wouldn't have dick. So I don't know, man. It, it just feels like, again, as, as has been the story in Web2 and history beyond and before, artists get the, like they're expendable. They're treated as expendable. Artists are not treated with respect. They are not valued properly creators and builders that are actually doing the work should be able to rely upon marketplaces to protect them and empower them. And right now they cannot, it feels like a massive loss to me. Um, and you know, I'm, I'm looking for the people that actually are trying to, to empower creators and power communities. The instant that we started having rails for people to actively trade these NFTs and like enter that DeFi NFT synergy that we were pontificating about for like years and years and years. And then we started to get it. We started to see this trend where fees started to go away because essentially that royalty was a fee on a trader. Like that's, that's basically the, how the traders look at it. They're saying we're paying a fee to trade on this platform and we don't want that. And so we're going to go wherever that is not happening. X2, Y2 being an example, I think, didn't have uh, any, like, I, I forgot which fee they were taking away. Uh, but they essentially, like, had these features that allow traders to actively participate uh, and not have to pay these fees. So we are at this intersection, it's, it's felt like, for the last month, where traders and creators, or traders and artists, or whatever verses you want to say, has been coming to a head for a long time. And we see OpenSea finally capitulating there with the optional royalties. This is a chart showing the NFT market volume on Ethereum. Uh, so as you can see, OpenSea's started to lose a little bit of market share. This is like overall volume. So overall volume from back in August is down, but you can see looks rare is definitely at a, a better competition point than it was in August of August 9th, you know, two or three months ago. So th that's where we stand today. OpenSea is losing more and more market share. Blur is not even a part of this list at this point. So we, we can't even really see where Blur is. Uh, we really just see an outsized performance by LooksRare. But yeah, I mean, it, it, it might be in response to, hey, we need to make sure that we're, we're having volume on our platform. Yeah, like Paxmark said, OpenSea saw everyone running to Blur or LooksRare or other enter other competitor there uh, for the optional royalties, and they they felt forced. That's absolutely absolutely what it is. The, it's it's a it's a it's a business decision. It's again, it's it's money over morals. That's that's what it is. Hey guys, it's Nifty Q. If you enjoyed that clip, you can catch me every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday on NFT Live with other respected leaders in the industry giving you their take on what's happening in NFTs and Web3. Links to the show are in the description. Hope to see you there.